Hello friends, welcome to our Tech Mecca YouTube channel. Warm wishes from Tech Mecca Association Group. Basically we created Tech Mecca YouTube channel for helping mechanical student to get desired job. In this channel we discussed about the mechanical interview question answers about various topics such as automobile, pump, boiler, turbine, welding, bearing etc. Please subscribe our channel like videos to inspire our effort. If you yet not subscribe the channel please click subscribe red button. And click bell icon for getting update video notification. Today we discussed about the important topics which is pump. In our previous pump video we discussed about some pump interview question. If you yet not see this video we had given a link which is found in description title box. In this video we discussed another most important 12 no pump interview question. Question number 1, what is pump? Answer, pump is a mechanical device that converts mechanical energy to fluid energy. Question number 2, what is the function of the pump? Answer, a pump produces liquid movement or flow, it does not generate pressure. It produces the flow necessary for the development of pressure which is a function of resistance to fluid flow in the system. Question number 3, name different types centrifugal pumps? Answer, multi-stage pumps, process type pumps, chemical process pumps, can motor pumps, paper stroke pumps and deep well turbine pumps. Question number 4, name different types of rotary pumps? Answer, external gear pumps, internal gear pumps, sanitary type pumps, external screw pumps, three screw pumps swinging and sliding vein pumps and flexible rotor pumps. Question number 5, name different types of reciprocating pumps? Answer, steam pumps, power pumps, metering pumps, axial piston pumps and sucker rod pumps. Question number 6, explain what is positive and non-positive displacement? Answer, positive displacement pump are those which discharge specific amount quantity is constant. A non-positive pumps are those which discharge random amount quantity varies. Positive displacement pumps are that which prevents undesirable flow and pumps the fluid within the closed space. X. Reciprocating pumps Rotary pumps Non-positive displacement pumps have no provisional to prevent the reversal of flow. We can say that there may be some loses in this kind of pumps but the main advantage is it can be used when high pressure and large quantity of fluid is to be pumped. Question number 7, what is auto-dosing? Answer, auto-dosing is an automated system of feeding the equipment with liquid products. It is the ideal way to ensure the correct calibrated dose at the right time every time in auto. Question number 8, what is hydrodynamic cavitations? Answer, hydrodynamic cavitations describe the process of vaporization in a constrained channel at a specific velocity bubble generation and bubble implosion which occurs in a flowing liquid as a result of a decrease and subsequent increase in pressure. Question number 9, what is priming? Answer, pump casing must be filled with liquid before the pump is started, or the pump will not be able to function. If the pump casing becomes filled with vapors or gases, the pump impeller becomes gas-bound and incapable of pumping. Question number 10, what is NPSH for centrifugal pump? Answer, NPSH stands for net positive suction head, for any pump act to the design capacity of pump a net pressure head is required which is called net positive suction head. If pressure falls the NPSH, then cavitations will occur. It is net positive suction head to avoid cavitations since pressure is below the vapor pressure bubbles forms that cause cavitations to avoid these we go for a pressure more than vapor pressure. Question number 11. What is the function of jockey pump? Answer, jockey pump is working to keep fire hydrant system in pressurized condition always. If any pressure decreases in the system, automatically hydrant pump starts immediately to cope up the required pressure or supplying the required water to the required area. Question number 12, what NPSH is and how to calculate it for a centrifugal pump? Answer, NPSH is net positive suction head of a pump. For centrifugal pumps, it is calculated as follows, NPSH A equals ATM PR static head vapor pressure pressure loss in the suction piping pressure loss due to the suction strainer.
Question number 13. What is the difference between suction lift suction head? Answer. The inlet pressure of a pump when above atmospheric pressure is suction head. The inlet pressure of a pump when below atmospheric pressure is suction lift. Suction head is the vertical distance between sump and the center of impeller whereas suction lift is the distance between center of impeller and head against which the pump has to deliver the liquid. Question number 14. What suction pressure and discharge pressure? And, simply, the suction pressure of a pump is the absolute pressure of a fluid, measured at the inlet of the pump in your answer, the pump is the compressor, and the fluid is whatever refrigerant. The discharge pressure is the absolute pressure of the liquid measured at the outlet of the pump. Obviously, the discharge pressure is usually bigger than suction pressure. Question number 15. Where multi-stage pump used? Answer. Pressure washing of aircraft, trains, boats and road vehicles as well as spray washing of industrial parts and electronic components. Question number 16. Difference between single acting and double acting pump? Answer. In single acting machines the compression takes place on only one side of the piston. Double acting machines use both sides of the cylinder for compression. The flow is continuous in double acting and in single acting the flow is not continuous unless there is a surge vessel. Question number 17. How cavitations can be eliminated by pump? Answer. Cavitations means bubbles are forming in the liquid. To avoid cavitations, we have to increase the pump size to 1 or 2 inch. To increase the pressure of the suction head, or decrease the pump speed. Question number 18. Which pump is more efficient centrifugal pump or reciprocating pump? Answer. Centrifugal pump because flow rate is higher compared to reciprocating pump. Flow is smooth and it requires less space to install. Lower initial cost and lower maintenance cost. Question number 19. Why the centrifugal pump is called high discharge pump? Answer. Centrifugal pump is a kinetic device. The centrifugal pump uses the centrifugal force to push out the fluid. So the liquid entering the pump receives kinetic energy from the rotating impeller. The centrifugal action of the impeller accelerates the liquid to a high velocity, transferring mechanical rotational energy to the liquid. Question number 20. Why cavitations will occur in centrifugal pump and not in displacement pump? Answer. The formation of cavities or bubbles is induced by flow separation, or non-uniform flow velocities, inside a pump casing. In centrifugal pumps the eye of the pump impeller is smaller than the flow area of pipe. This decrease in flow area of pump results so pressure drop happen between pump suction and the veins of the impeller. Here air bubbles or cavities are formed because of liquid vapor due to increase in temperature in impeller. This air bubbles are transmitted to pump which forms cavitations. Question number 21. Why centrifugal pump is not called as a positive displacement type of pump? Answer. The centrifugal has varying flow depending on pressure or head, whereas the positive displacement pump has more or less constant flow regardless of pressure. Likewise viscosity is constant for positive displacement pump where centrifugal pump have up and down value because the higher viscosity liquids fill the clearances of the pump causing a higher volumetric efficiency. When there is a viscosity change in supply there is also greater loss in the system. This means change in pump flow affected by the pressure change. Question number 22. How is the excess discharge pressure prevented? Answer. Discharge pressure prevented by a pressurized spike cushion. Here the system employs a pressurized cushion of air in the two o-ring piston, which permanently separates this air cushion from the water system. When the valve closes and the water flow is suddenly stopped, the pressure spike pushes the piston up the arrestor chamber against the question number 23, what does a pump develop? Give reason to support your answer. Answer. Pump is a device that is used to transfer fluid from one place to another place which means it develops flow not pressure. Pressure is a measurement of the resistance to flow. Question number 24. Why a centrifugal pump casing is called involutes casing? Answer is simple because it is like involutes shape. Question number 25. What is booster pump which is used in power plant? Answer. Booster pump is used where high pressure is required. 
Normally onboard ships oil is feed to IC engines via a feed pump and the booster pump in conjunction. Feed pump draws oil from the oil tank and its discharge is connected to the suction of booster pump to increase the pressure. This is used when oil is supposed to be injected at a high pressure into the engine. Question number 26, why a centrifugal pump does not deliver liquid? Answer, the centrifugal pump does not deliver liquid due to, wrong rotation pump not prime speed too low. Question number 27, what is the difference between strainer and filter? Answer, strainer for a core size, filter is more accurate than strainer. Question number 28, what are the reasons when piping vibrates in power pumps? Answer, in a power pump the piping vibrates when discharge pipe is undersize or suction pipe is undersize. Question number 29, why a centrifugal pump will not start? Answer, it is due to, impellers locked or not adjusted properly trash encasing faulty motor. Too much bearing friction. Question number 30, what are the causes of reduced capacity or pressure in axial and radial piston pumps? Answer. The main causes of reduced capacity due to, clogged or leaking suction. Oil is too thick. Relief valve troubles. Liquid lever is too low. Question number 31, write the operational steps of a steam pump. Answer, make sure that all the suction, discharge, steam and exhaust lines are open. Open steam and drain valves. Prime by opening air cock on liquid cylinder cap. Crack steam valve to warm the pump. Open the steam valve until the piston begins to move slowly. Close the drain valve and open the steam valve until the pump comes up to the working speed. Question number 32, what is the main reason of steam pump breakdown? Answer, steam pump stops due to valve trouble that is, incorrectly set or worn steam valves may stop the steam pump. Question number 33, why a steam pump does not discharge? Answer, it is due to, suction air bond suction lift too high obstruction in suction line pump not primed. Question number 34, what is the function of foot valve in a well? A foot valve, in relation to water well, is a check valve at his bottom of a well to keep the water from running back into the well from the pump when the pump is not running. If the check valve does not hold the water the pump will lose its prime and will not pump water. It acts like a NRV prevents water flow back into the well and facilitates priming. Question number 35, why can't you use centrifugal pumps for pumping viscous fluids? Answer, because in centrifugal pump, if the density of the fluid is higher means viscous fluid, the power consumed is very much higher and there will be a chance of changing the shape of the impeller or it may bend. Centrifugal pump rotates very fast and so it won't easily pump viscous material because higher viscosity of fluid which increases the friction with the blade. Viscous material need thrust or force to push ahead, so for that it is more convenient not to use centrifugal pump. Question number 36, explain briefly the metering pumps? Answer, generally these types of reciprocating pumps are relatively small and light in weight. Small reciprocating pumps are fixed on a light structural frame and other pumps have metal base bolted with the floor. Tank mounted pumps need no foundation but the tank is to be fixed. Question number 37, write the procedure for starting the power pump? Answer, clean the pump. Check the correct quantity of the recommended grade of oil to the pump. Check the drive rotation. Check grease or oil to the coupling if necessary. Turn the pump by hand it should run freely open the suction, vent, bypass and discharge valves. Start the pump. Question number 38, what are different types of gate valves? Answer, there are a few different designs, parallel disc gate valves use two discs with a spring in between them, sliding into the seats. At low pressure, the spring forces the discs outward against the seats, sealing off the valve. At high pressure, all the sealing is accomplished by the downstream disc. Wedge gate valves use a tapered disc that slides into two seats set at a slight, converging angle. The wedging action provides the sealing force between the disc and the seat. Single disc gate valves are used where the flow is always one way like sluices on dams. There is some flexibility in the attachment of the disc to the stem, so the differential pressure on the disc pushes it against the seat, sealing it off.